uncovered troubling details tonight about a teacher under investigation by the TVI. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Lowry. And I'm Marius Payton. Up until tonight, all we knew is that teacher John Duncan had been suspended from the Rutherford County School after the TBI started asking questions. But our chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley obtains the reason why they started asking questions. So the TBI confirms they are investigating that Duncan had taken an inappropriate photo of himself inside of a school. We've now obtained that photo, but there's more, a warning. These are troubling details and certainly not for young viewers. It started with photo after photo. Every single day I was getting the pictures, I was getting the pictures. Sent to Kayla Lee in Alabama through social media from a man in Tennessee she didn't even know. Even when she says he sent a picture of himself in a bathroom exposing himself, she was at first just disgusted, then became alarmed when she got this message depicting sex with a student. That was what was really scary, so I was like, I have to look this guy up. The guy who sent Lee the post gave the name John. She found the photos matched with the same name of a John Duncan who worked, according to a LinkedIn profile, as the former athletic director at Antioch High School. And here's the message she received from the sender. You can see we've blurred out most of it. It describes violent sex with a student athlete and how he got her pregnant. I literally was horrified. I like ran into my roommate's room and I was like, what am I gonna do about this? And she was like, definitely report it. She posted it on a Facebook page saying she was worried for the children on his team. I saw a Facebook post. And in Murfreesboro, Madison Martin read Lee's concerned post. Yeah, disgusted is a good word. Um, it just, it made me really uncomfortable. She looked up the same name and saw a John Duncan was now teaching at Daniel McKee Alternative School. So she called the school and email shows she corresponded with the TBI. Take a closer look at the graphic photo. The women believe it was taken in a school bathroom. The sign in the back counts down the days till spring break. If he's a teacher and he's taking pictures like that inside of a school bathroom, that's not okay. One of Lee's friends texted with the person who sent the photos and the message. In the text, he writes, I made all of it up. I was lying. Do what you gotta do. Lee's friend wrote back, lying about raping a child isn't okay. The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. WSV4 investigates called the number two, but it's now disconnected. All the TBI will say is that it's an ongoing investigation. At Rutherford County Schools report Duncan is on unpaid suspension pending the outcome of the law enforcement investigation. Even if he made it up and it was all a joke or whatever, just having those thoughts, you don't need to be around kids. John Duncan is also running for the Rutherford County School Board. When he filed to run, he provided a phone number and an email. We tried to contact him through those as well as through a family member, but he did not respond by our deadline. We will keep you posted on if any action is taken. Marius. Wow.